What's going on guys? Today we are going to be replacing this worn out uh, chain. Uh, currently you've got uh, two chains now on this cassette here which is a SRAM Force and we are going to uh, replace, uh, we went from a SRAM Force chain to a SRAM Red chain and uh, now I've got another SRAM Red chain here that uh, we are going to put on another one. So let's get started. So first things first, you're going to want to measure your old chain. So I'm right on the cusp between 0.25 and 0.5, which is where I usually uh, prematurely replace my chain. I've got about 6,000 kilometers on this. So for me, that is enough. Old Tupperware and some degreaser. Because we utilize a chain wax, it's important to get all that off there. So essentially let it soak and we'll come back to this once we have the old chain taken off. And this has had a good you know, five, 10 minutes to soak. Find your old quick link. And then what we're gonna do is using our Park Tools pliers, we're gonna crack that guy open and remove the old chain. And just remember, if you want more slack in the chain, put it into the hardest gear. With the chain off, it's a good time to kind of check through the cassette teeth, make sure nothing's, uh, Nothing's busted, cracked, same with the front chain rings, so we're going to go through that. Um, I have degreased this obviously prior to removal of the chain and gone through all the rollers and whatnot on the derailleur, but I'll also check the front chain ring just in case there's any damage, but you know, routine maintenance stuff that does, never hurts. Now don't discard the chain quite yet, what we're going to do is measure it up for links, match the new uh, chain length to it, and then go ahead and put the new chain on. All right, so I've got the new chain cut, measured, and ready to rock and roll. We've got it a blank canvas of a drivetrain here, ready to throw on the new chain. So let's go ahead, run that through, and uh, tell you what we're going to do is shift the gearing down into the hardest gear on the back, which I'll do right now. So as we can see, I moved it right down to the bottom here so that we've got... Uh, the derailleur itself with as much uh, maneuverability on the bottom hardest cog so that the chain will have as much slack as possible. So as we can see here, we have the chain that's dangling off and all we're gonna do at this point is throw the quick link on, make sure that the flat top is actually on the top of the chain rather than the bottom. And uh, I'll show you a close up on orienting the quick link. So as we can see here, I have the quick link on and there's a bit of a gap. So we're just gonna hold the back wheel and pedal forward with the bike in the stand to click that into position. And just like that, we've got a brand new chain ready to rock, uh, quick links installed, and we are ready to throw on lube. So in this case, I am gonna be using Ceramic Speed's UFO Drip as its first course. And I might actually do two doses of this or just one dose and then a short ride and then apply a second. So that's it. Ready to rock, guys. Thanks for stopping by.